expansive than that sentence. Okay, do you? Oh my God. Oh, you yeah. that. Okay, God, so I shouldn't, far. I shouldn't sing on television. Well, the Weber clarinet concertino uh, is just really a bit of fun. Uh, it's made up of a, a, a sort of a slow, almost operatic introduction. And then there's a simple theme for 16 bars. And then we just vary that. Um, which is basically the composer showing off, sort of, this is what I can do with a team, and also showing off through the clarinet, this is what the clarinet can do, uh, flying up and down arpeggios and scales, and John uh, throws those arpeggios and scales off with great aplomb. So you're going to have to give me a nudge slower somewhere there as well. As yeah, I'm going to take it down there a little bit. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Da, 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 da. Okay. I suppose it's one of our little party pieces, really. It's, a, it's about almost 200 years old. It was written as a result of the composer meeting a, a clarinet player. When Karl Maria von Weber arrived in Munich to take up his, his new job as the conductor of the opera there, um, Behrmann was the principal clarinet of the orchestra and Weber knew Behrmann's clarinet playing and thought it was so amazing that he wrote this concertino um, specially for him. And it was so amazing, apparently, the result from Behrmann's playing and the actual piece of music that um, everyone in the orchestra commissioned Weber to write a piece for him afterwards. They were all going to the king to demand that uh, the king talk to Weber and, and make him write a cello piece, cello concerto. Uh, a bassoon concerto, tons of arias, um, and that was how it started. 1811, I think. Brilliant. Thanks, John. <laughs> It's real operatic music, the, the whole piece. Um, he was an opera composer um, and quite romantic. It's the beginning of the romantic period. Uh, a lot of it plays with um, different groups. So there's a slow bit in the middle of the concertina, which is just with the viola section divided in two. And you'd, you'd be aware, you'd be playing to, to them or, or with them. So you actually make nice chamber music, nice ensemble, rather than follow a, a rigid beat. Sometimes cellos and basses, they don't get a lot of interesting stuff to play in this type of music. And I think John played such a way that you really could play that note differently to this note and shape it that way. Um, so the Weber was just a bit of fun this morning. We, we hope that sort of jumps out. I love it. I, I, yeah, I really love it. I, I, I feel quite comfortable doing it. Um, I know they're all my colleagues as well. I get great support from them both before, uh, sometimes during, <laughs> and uh, definitely afterwards as well. And it's, it's, it's a good feeling.